Welcome to Techie Bytes, where we teach you how to use Windows Office programs. MS Excel provides us users a simple way of calculating. It can perform various mathematical functions like that of a calculator, be it addition, multiplication, subtraction, or whatever. It can do simple values to complicated functions. In order to carry out any of these functions, the user needs to know the two main ways that can be used to perform these functions. First, we have creating a formula using cell reference. And we also have creating a formula using point and click method. Let's create a simple problem. Open your MS Excel spreadsheet. In the new sheet, you can see columns named with letters and rows that are numbered. So now, if we refer to a particular cell in the spreadsheet, we call it with a column name and row number combination. For example, if we want to refer to this cell, it's A1. Likewise, this particular cell is E4. So coming back to our example, let's give our problem statement in column A and our numerical values in column B. So let's put A1 as the number of oranges in the basket and B1 its value, 10. Now A2 is going to be the number of apples in the basket, and B2 is its value, 15. A3 is the total number of fruits, and, and its value is in B3. Using our first method, we create a formula using cell reference. Cell references are nothing but the name of the particular cell, in our case A1, A2, and A3, and B1, B2, and B3. In cell B3, the total number of fruits in the basket to be displayed is a simple addition of the oranges and the apples. That is, the value of oranges, B1, and the value of apples, B2. Simply stating, B3 is equal to B1 plus B2. For this, we're going to click on cell B3, and for indicating a formula, we always begin the formula with an equal symbol. So, in B3, we type in equals B1 plus B2, and press enter. The formula calculates the value and displays it in cell B3. Now, using the second method, the point and click method, in the same example, we create a formula by first clicking on B3, putting in our equal symbol, and then clicking on B1 to insert it into the formula. Then we type in our mathematical operator, plus, and then click again on B2. Now, pressing enter, the formula calculates the value and displays it in cell B3. An important point is that the resultant value changes if the values within the cells that are included in the formula change. If one has to edit an already defined formula, we can simply click on the formula cell, then its corresponding defined formula is displayed in the formula bar. We can click there, edit it, and press enter. The new value is displayed as per the changes in the formula. These are some of the simple tricks in carrying out mathematical functions in MS Excel.